Hi, this is Mark Richards with Infolink Consulting, and today I'm going to show you how to create a new project within Informatica's Power Center Express. Um, you can see in front of me here we have the Informatica developer, which is the GUI front end for Power Center Express. If you are not logged in yet, then please double click on the model repository and you'll be prompted for your user ID and password. I've already done so, and so if I expand this, here are a list of existing projects that I've previously created. Now, to create a new one, I'm simply going to right click on model repository, select new project, and I'm going to call it demo 101, and click finish, and there's my new project. We're going to click on the project that we created, Demo 101. I'm going to right click and I'm going to select New Data Object. And I'm going to select a flat file data object and click Next. And I'm going to create it from an existing flat file. I have a flat file here, a salaries.csv file. I'm going to select that. I'm going to name it. I'm going to put a CSV at the beginning so I know exactly what it is. Click Next. And here it's showing me um, a preview of some of the data that's in here. Okay, so I can see what I'm pulling in, and I, I can notice here that the first row are, um, are the actual titles. So on my next page, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to import the column names from the first line, and we can see that it's done so here. Um, the delimiter is a comma, and that looks pretty good to me. So then I'm again going to go click Next. Now the one thing um, is that we're previewing 500 rows here, and uh, Informatica is making a guess as to what the maximum length of these fields are. But I'm not really comfortable doing that because I don't really know too much about the data. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to um, update all of these fields, and I'm going to make them all 100 characters, just because um, I, I just don't know what type of data I've got. The one difference, the one that I'm going to do a little bit different is this higher date because that looks like a date field to me so I'm going to set it as a date time and all the rest I'm going to make 100 and 100. Okay, now the higher date looks to be month, day, year format so if, if I click finish I can come in here and I can make sure that we have the correct format for that. And that's not the default. I'm going to use a custom and month, day, year is what we're looking for. Click OK. And let me save that. And you'll notice underneath the project it's created a new folder for physical data objects. And it's created the CSV salaries definition within that folder. And if I look at these tabs here, if I look at the read tab, click here and look at runtime. I can see where exactly where I'm pulling this file from. All right, so we have this definition set up. Um, in the next demo, I'm going to show you how you can profile this data to get a better idea of what you're looking at. Mm -hmm.